This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net. Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Cool. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes. Previously on the Danger Club Podcast. Fulton Battles. <laughs> <laughs> there is an armoured skeleton holding a long spear. I've got your fall. Oh, God, I've got bloody hell. Oh, God. Watch this. I mean, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, no. That is definitely a fumble. It's like you're trying to roll back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm a minus two. Thanks, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> the amulet's not working. Eye rolling so hard. I definitely won't be able to take another attack. We need to retreat. The adventure continues. We have all got um, skeletons in our closet. Um, <laughs> and sometimes those skeletons are armed with a spear. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final episode of the Danger Club podcast. I don't know, Shania and M might just walk off into the sunset at the moment. Just like... Zola's gotten out as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Could be, could be helpful. Um, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Did that ever take a bit of a turn? That was, uh, I was not expecting that to uh, turn quite so nasty, quite so quickly. We did really badly. Yeah. Really bad. I mean, a mix of bad rolling and, you know, uh, there. I, I'm sure there will have been some people um, on our social media questioning um, the decision to, uh, to fight an armored enemy with a spear in a narrow corridor, um, one at a time, um, when you had the numbers advantage. But was there another way of fighting him? Um, do you have to fight him? I guess we're going to find out. Either way... Could have asked him a question, I think. Yeah, could have had a chat. Could have, uh, how's, uh, how's everyone feeling right now? I'm on four... <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling a little stupid. Just a little bit. Why? But I've kind of got the excuse of being relatively green. But I'm green. I'm a half orc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't no, know about what, what I did at the end of the last episode. I'm sort of thinking, what are you doing, so Yeah, but you, you, you found you found it. You added to our knowledge of the area. Okay. Yeah. Can I just open up? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. No. You no. Go no. Ahead. No. You go, John. No. 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 You. No. Please. Be, uh, uh, because it, yeah. just want to. Ding dang. Walla walla bing bong. <laughs> uh, nice can I just say it is episode 40 episode 40 yay. we made it 40 years old yay 40 years old oh my the podcast that's begins at 40 that's the ruby <laughs> wedding anniversary isn't it 40 it is. is that right yes it is so ah. golden rubies <clears throat> it means we're only 12 episodes away from our one year anniversary we are not far off one year of this ridiculous uh, adventure show we need wow. to somehow keep you guys alive yeah for a few more episodes <laughs> yeah because we'll just keep doing what we're doing and just keep yeah. going around that platform it'd be really weird if next episode starts with um starts with Freya Axborn back in this with a whole group of new characters being like <laughs> yeah so they, they never came back uh, so uh, we're sending you to find out what happened <laughs> yeah and thus it continues. <laughs> it's just going to be the show. Yeah. It's just like a roguelike, just you guys going into this dungeon over and over again <laughs> as new characters. Just fighting this one dude in this corridor, just piles and piles of bodies. He's the amazing. hero in this. He's the, he's yeah. the good guy. He's, yeah. he's protecting something really important and these random fuckheads keep coming in and trying to take do it. We, do we have a name for him, Dan? He does have a name. He's a named, he? He is a named character. Hey. Um, Come on, hit us. us. Uh, I don't think we're, we should know, should we? Well, well you, you've not you've not uh, really gotten yeah. chatting to him. I'm going to call him. Yeah, I'm going to call him Spears Morgan. Spears <laughs> Morgan. <laughs> Good. That was Good. very Good. nice. I like it. Spears Brosnan. Spears Morgan. <laughs> Get in line, both Morgan and Brosnan. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Morgan's got to wait until all the vegan sausage roll crew stop at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's in so many lines. Yeah, right now. he does put himself there. He's, yeah, he yeah. does. Pure showman. Erdi Khan. Surely. Yes. Um, oh no, not hit me, Spears. Hit me, Spears. <laughs> hit me, Spears. <laughs> hit me, Spears. <laughs> And I like what was his real name? Bony M. Erdikar. Yeah. And I'll show Erdikar. you without uh, without giving away his stats. 
Uh, this is no good for the podcast, but I will show you the picture and we'll put the picture up oh, on the top. Wow, okay. he, looks so green. he could not look any more come at me, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Literally, the picture is described. He's got his arms outstretched and and one hand out and and and, and the grin. So yeah, he's literally the tagline is come at me, bro. Uh, he's sort of dressed in what uh, any uh, warmer fans might say is an old style sort of tomb king sort of look. Uh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit Egyptian-y, but not pure Egyptian-y. Yeah, it's kind of him. A little yeah, bit, yeah, a little bit, a little yeah. bit. He is. He looks like he's having a great time, I suppose, which which does fit to uh, where we are in our, our current adventures. We'll throw up a picture on the Instagram the the, the, the week that this episode goes. Not we if will. he kills us, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see his face ever again if he kills us. I'm going to wait until we resolve this and then I'll put a picture it's, it's, um, it's like wingspan looks a bit sort of whimsy as well, though. Like maybe we yeah. should have just tried to make friends with it instead of like. I think that, that was probably what maybe, we should have done. Maybe he just wants a hug. Yeah, yeah. maybe that's what maybe it's the not first thing he did yeah. was stab Fulton. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's got like yeah. attachment issues. He just wants to be loved. <laughs> that's like, how he brings his friends in by impaling them and giving them a hug. <laughs> yeah. We just keep getting away. He's like, just like hug Donald me. Trump when he pulls people closer with yeah, his handshake. Yeah. Like, yeah, right. Ooh, stab you, pull you closer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just in case you didn't hate me enough with the Piers Morgan reference, now we've got <laughs> Donald Trump as well to go on their top. This is who we're aligning in this guy. Is Farage making an appearance later? Like, Horrible geez. skeleton in the crypt of wrath. Um, I think could uh, describe a number of uh, people. Um, so, do we have a plan? What's uh, before we dive back in? Do we? Uh, oh, sorry, can I just say tweet us Trump because that'll be sick. Like, <laughs> any press would be good. For Imagine Trump starts tweeting about a danger club. That'd be so sick. Fake adventures. <laughs> <laughs> that's tr- that's true. <laughs> How are you going to get out of this one, guys? Like, I, I'm. We've had situations in the past, not so much in this campaign, uh, where things have been, things have looked pretty dire, and we've like we've paused the session to have a bit of a, a sidebar and a strategy session and, and work out what to do to keep this campaign going. Because I think this is the toughest fight you guys have ever been in, um, in terms of the fact you have done no damage to this guy so far. He has got his full hit points right now. All you've done is cover him in some glue. Uh, and, and snow. And snow. He's got some snow on him. Um, Please, thank you. And several of you are one hit from permadeath uh, right now. Um, and you're burning through your healing uh, and your spells. Yeah. So it's going to take some kind of a plan here to either defeat this guy or just survive him or, uh, or get out. So what's the thinking? Well, we've just imbued um, Caragor with bull strength, and I think it's gonna it's gonna make the difference. Just for our listeners here, although it's a handy spell, it doesn't actually add anything to my hit points, so I can go in stronger than I was before and still die as weak as I was before. <laughs> still that potential. <laughs> yeah, but bull. Yeah, right? but uh, no, what you, come on. What you want is bears constitution, whatever it is, the other spell that busts your hit bears, points, isn't it? Uh, oh, bears endurance. Thank you. Yeah. 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 There's endurance, lovely spell, or false life, another good spell, uh, or any false any... life. <laughs> it's the only life I know. No, he was doing a different oh, one. No, he doing false life. Doesn't matter. All the people, so many skeletons, <laughs> they all just shuffle it. along, stabbing you with spears. False, false life. life. <laughs> ding ding ding. Nice. No, what I mean. <laughs> Let's yes, find out do. what happens to the Danger Club. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. I've ruined it. No, you haven't. <laughs> we would have done this anyway. It's fine. This is true. If anything, you've helped because you're an extra person for it to kill. So, uh, Zola, you, uh, you were the last person to act. You opened up um, the wall um, and you found that there is another way out of this tomb um, that heads... Um, pass um, away from here. And now I've got one point. What physical state does that mean I'm in? Like, uh, I'm just, am I, I'm upright. Am you I? are, yes. You're up on your feet. It doesn't actually, until you go below zero, it doesn't affect any of your abilities. Like, you still work as well. But yeah, you are really badly hurt right now. Oh. Uh, you are at death's door. Um, you're barely able to stand. So, um, oh gosh. you are, uh, yeah, you're going to have to. Uh, you can have to think of something pretty quick. Yeah. Will Zola sacrifice herself for the team? Maybe. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, not really in nature, but <laughs> you've, you've got an amazing potion you could drink. Don't forget that. Yeah, I have got my potion. I'm not. It's a good yeah, one, are. too. It's a good one. It's a good day. Yeah, okay. It's a good one, yeah. 
I mean, we should have given that like love potion to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. oh, so. We give the love potion to the skeleton. Yeah. Yeah. He would drink it and it would pass through his rib cage <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> onto the floor. We've all seen that joke. He might still love us. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Stab. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Zola were to horribly die here, it would just be the latest in a long line of people who have met you and died a couple of episodes <laughs> later. No, like don't that make would be me a, do that. that would be st- standard <laughs> the fact that it's not me voicing it wouldn't make it any different we don't want you to die Shappy kind of. and balls and Bye. shuffles and <laughs> if he uh, does drink the love potion he'd probably just go it's not me it's you <laughs> <laughs> oh so uh let's find out uh, mz it's you, my friend. So uh, we didn't just discuss a plan either, did no, we? Yeah. <laughs> we just went on one yeah. one line. Yeah, 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 all right, really all right okay, okay, to be fair, if you're serious about talking about a plan, uh, Dan, just lay out, the, lay out the corridor for us one more time. So, in the corridor right at the moment, uh, you've got a long corridor. At one far end of it, a Zola next to an open door. Um, then there's a little bit of space. Then there is uh, the skeleton, Spears Morgan, uh, covered in glue, <laughs> holding his spear. Then directly in front of Spears is uh, Fulton. <laughs> Behind Fulton is Caragor, who is now ripped. Um, behind Caragor, um, standing on the rotating platform, is Shania Rain. Um, and then in the other room um, is um, is MZ and Velda. Um, Velda is currently standing on the other side of the rotating platform. So M could just go. Um, M has the best choice of anyone to just just bug out Velda how many charges got left on that healing wand one uh, Shania how many healing spells have you got left none Guys, I have a stabilized spell but how many uh, healing potions have we all got each I've got two I've got three I've got one I have one three zero Font's got none I use Anything my one with a potion obviously you have to take an action to do that so it mm. means either getting attacked if you're in combat with the guy uh, or just missing a bit of an attack if you can if Zola was to stay in the fight, she could shoot arrows at the guy from behind without being attacked. Again, we saw what an arrow did before. Yep. Not very much. I <clears throat> I have two more of those holy uh, water arrows, but it still doesn't help if I go and hit the guy. But you've got a plus two to your hit. No. Not with uh, not with ranged weapons. Uh, that's uh, strength, not with ranged weapons. Strength only helps my melee. He's also uh, no longer flanked now that Zola has moved yeah. away. Of course, so we've neutralised any bands. Um, what I, I have a heavy crossbow. If, if, if we can pin him again, I think there was there was mileage in that plan. <laughs> um, where was definitely you're out mileage. of the threat range and then two people literally, if you've got the two heavy hitters, which is you and Fulton, mm-hmm. just on either side of him, hitting those, raining those blows in while everyone else stands far enough away that we're out of the hit zone. Yeah, um, so he to do that... He will probably move on his go well, he's got six he's got six more rounds of being stuck exactly where he is the only oh, thing true. is that me and Fulton can't get either side of him because Fulton would have to jump over him to do that is that uh, right yeah and I'm no. on minus well, six could you go through his back. legs wait 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 wait. Um, uh, Zor- Zola Zola <laughs> she managed to do that <laughs> she did because her acrobatic score is what is your acrobatic score Zola eight it's plus eight it's a pretty bloody good acrobatic mm-hmm. score I, I mean Caragor's okay at it and he's on a plus six well, Zola could move six, back up yeah. I mean you're better than me to do it it's if anyone's going to do it it's going to be you it's a hit and miss if I could do that Dan if I failed the acrobatics check would I get an attack of opportunity on no me? you just no. don't move okay fine well then that's the plan <laughs> <laughs> if uh, I mean because it's Sam's guy at the moment if he came into the room uh, to do that who would you kick out of the room at the moment who, who would go out Shania. of the room Shania, Shania. Uh, uh, if no you could, yeah, no, no Shania. Shania she's on the other you side sh- of the wall Oh no! no uh, that's what that's what we're yeah, saying. In the in the death corridor, she's the in switch. the death corridor. No, she's not in the death corridor. Yes, I am. She is. Are you? She yes. is. Yes. She is. Yes, you and you and I, Velda, M and Velda are outside in the in the calm corridor. Yeah, that is correct. I miss the calm corridor. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan, so if, do I. If if M was to go in and say something, would he still then get his? I mean, it's not going to change anything, is it? Really, apart from Shania is just out of the room now. Uh, yeah, that would be if you were to jump in the room, it would take Shania out of the room, uh, and you would be in there. You could take a shot. So it's not really going to do much. You is could it, hold if, your if go until swap. you were in a more like, until something more gnarly happens. I was I was thinking of doing of trying something else. Ah. 
weeks before ah. coming. Which I think Colin's going to keep secret until it potentially happens. Nice head for drama there. <laughs> Terrible for us planning, but it's going to be good for the listeners. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, no, I'm all for that. I'm all for a bit of theatre. That's cool. Okay, so, so M- current plan. Sorry, go on. Go on. No, you do. No, you, 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 you. No, you say. Okay, let's, let's finalize that first. All right, right, fine. So current plan is <clears throat> Fulton stays where he is. Wales on the fucker. I'm going to yeah. try and do a Zola-esque tumble to get exactly behind him. Okay. <sighs> Um, Which I don't feel great about, but that's the current plan for two heavy hitters at the moment. I'm going to try and hit him up with the crossbow. I've got a hairy crossbow. Cool. So, uh, whilst Zola and Shania are firing into combat, they will take minuses to their uh, rolls, won't they? They will. So bear that in mind as well. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Velden, um, what do you think? Well, we can't enter the combat because then we'll we'll push someone into the threat. You will do. Straight after I... No. Yeah, you will. Because, no, because then somebody's going to stand in the threat zone. Yes, because Shania at the moment oh, yeah. is outside the threat zone. If Shania yes. came forward to she not be, be on the platform, she would come into this. Into, yes. Yeah, he's right. So yeah. I'm, afra- I'm afraid we are we are stuck for the moment. Unless, we could swap out with Shania. Yeah, unless one of you is going to be more useful in the situation than Shania. And being that you're the only one with healing, potentially that's you. But I mean, I, you remember, we, I, I can heal. But even, if, even if we rotate the platform, I can only heal uh, Fulton. Which you kind of need to do, because I'm... And if he did, he'd have to step into the threatened square to do that. Um, I have nine hit points, so not even a heavy hit by this guy would wipe me out. All you you have to do is, both of you, one one person stays on the platform on the death side, and one of you stays on the platform in the corridor side, and all you have to do is just keep, because it's a move action to just push the the lever, pull the lever, and then you just attack them from far. And then you won't get hit from that range you I don't think they've got anything the, yeah. they've got nothing that can I mean uh, M's got his bow yeah but again we're talking oh, about arrows the, the, well yeah. the spell yeah. I was going to cast was my one magic missile which is an automatic hit which yeah. at this point I'd take I mean yeah. I mean, uh, I was going to and then the platform rotated and I ended up yeah, facing yeah, yeah. the other way yeah. <laughs> yeah. how you many can you just remind us of who so it goes M and then who's after M in the initiative order it's M then Caragor then the skeleton um, okay. Then Fulton, then Velda, then Shania, then Zola. Okay. So whatever I do doesn't matter at the moment, does it really? Okay. You can wait, you can see. <clears throat> well, we have a plan in place. Piers plan is ready. Is <laughs> Here's the Danger Club. Let's find out what we do in M. So M is going to pull the lever. Okay. Okay. M rotates into the room. Shania rotates out. And he's going to speak. All right. And he's going to say... Wait! <laughs> Is there anything we can do? I don't want to fight you. We don't want to fight you. Is there anything we can do for you? Stop and tell us what you want. Uh, it opens its mouth and says, Neil! Who's Neil? <laughs> 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 At least we found out his name. That was perfect. Oh. Uh, you want us to? That like, is made by other skeleton I really like. I just take this letter. <laughs> no. You want us to kneel? How do you mean? How do you mean? What do you mean? Keep talking. Keep talking. Uh, that is all he uh, says. That's all he's going to say. Okay. <sighs> okay. Uh, now, again, a great, great knowledge there. We've we've expanded our knowledge again. We don't know if he means to kneel and he'll leave us alone. Or if we kneel, it'll make an execution quicker. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What should we do? <laughs> uh, find well, out. Wait, you've still got a, you've still got a move action. You've still got a standard action. I've still left. got a standard action. Yeah, which you could take as a move action. Is yep. that right? Okay, so you could try it. Do it. It's not going to change anything, is it? Unless we all kneel. Well, he can't yeah. reach. You, he so can't reach. Could, you, yeah. You okay, so MZ is going to kneel. Okay. Not put the weapons down. I've still got my bow in my hand, but I'm going to kneel on one leg, one leg. Okay. And see what he says. You kneel. Uh, you kneel. He turns his face from you to the others. We all have to kneel. We all have to kneel. I mean, this could be the end. <sighs> Caragor. Is he wearing a crown? No. He's wearing a horned helmet. I don't know <laughs> now what to do. So I still want to fire. Do you know what I mean? Like. What you could do is you could tumble past him and then kneel and then kneel because he wouldn't be able to reach you even if it wasn't yeah. an execution move. And then if I fail everyone, my tumble, everyone is out. There. If you fail your tumble, well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, no, if I fail my tumble, I still be able to <coughs> kneel, wouldn't I? You would, yeah. So do it. Are you in the firing line now, Caragor? Yes. Yeah. I'm in the danger square right now. Right. Yeah. Danger square. I mean, you could slaughter us all. That's the thing. Just call me Ben. 
think Nature Square. Ben Dini. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For the listeners there, I threw my dice bit... at Ross's Willy. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think Scott was a little bit tense about Got a bit excited. <laughs> Been rolling that dice for about half an hour. If there's one thing it, you oh want to do to get some luck on your dice, it's have it touch Ross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, Ross got pun dice. Oh! Yes. Good roll. Seeing Zola leap up, I take a little jump up and I push off one side of the wall with one leg, aiming to leap over him on a full score of 23 23 you leap over him and land directly oh. behind yes. him yes I kneel you kneel okay is this right I don't know man no I don't know I we like could die you, 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 I, well, you, think, well, you think it's a bad thing do you I'm on the other side of the wall uh, back I out didn't, now I, didn't, yeah, I great, literally thanks. didn't hear <laughs> no, no, I've got an opinion not going to tell you I, no, no, but, but <laughs> thing, it's, I think it's a game. bad idea do you if he I'm being honest makes, I, I mean I, I don't think it's a great idea he's going to spend his turn making a strength check <gasps> which he makes uh, as he uh, he rips the glue from his body <gasps> and throws it on the ground so he is now free um, he's now free of the tangle foot that's uh, the main one. No, he can't, he can't, he can't he's move still now, pinned. Yeah, he's so. still, still pinned, but that takes his go. Um, <clears throat> Fulton Battlestone, you are face to face with him. Behind you, MZ is kneeling. Oh. Behind the other guy, Caragor is kneeling. You could, you could kneel, but hold the rest of your action. Is this right, Dan? Uh huh. You could kneel, but hold the rest of your action. If he goes to attack, oh, yeah. you can interrupt by attacking him. Yeah, I'll do is that. Is that you something that is yeah, feasible? Yeah, you can kneel but ready an action to attack if he tries to strike. Yeah, God, this, is, this is real. This is this is peak Pathfinder, guys. This is getting this right is inside in the rules. So intense! Isn't I'm it? loving God. it. <laughs> I am loving it. <laughs> I'm glad you are. You. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it's because I'm sort of temporary and at some point I'm just going to go bye. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, all right. Fulton bends a knee, Fulton holding bends his knee. axe on the floor, uh, ready. <laughs> okay. If anything fucking happens. All right, Velda, back in the other room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Velda. Can I say? Oh, can I say something as well? Yes, you can. Velda, you need to kneel. <laughs> kneel. <laughs> 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 you're just, oh, you're just aiming to get onto Colin's sound bites, aren't you, for the start of the <laughs> each episode? It is. <laughs> did I did I hear that? Fulton shits himself. Well, not Fulton. Fulton <laughs> <laughs> shits himself. But, uh, no, you. Uh, I just assume yeah, that anyway. you do hear that. It wouldn't be the first time. Uh, and who's on this side of the wall? You and Shania. And Shania. Yeah, hello. And Philippe. <laughs> Philippe's still there. Did you, yeah, did Philippe you, and as well. Did you, did you hear Philippe's that? been picking his nose. <laughs> Did you, did you hear about what, it sometimes? What, what? what? Fulton just said, I'm going to message Fulton. Fulton, what did you say? You need to kneel. This guy won't stop until we all kneel before him. But he can't see me. I'm behind a wall. But he can sense you. Just do it, you stupid old bastard. He might be, he might be right, because he only attacked us when he came into the corridor. All right, if I don't kneel. <laughs> Fucking I mean, I didn't hear that. <laughs> uh, geez, Fulton wants us to kneel down, apparently. But he wants us to kneel down, why? I don't know. I think that... That's why? a bit weird. That's a bit weird. I'm sure it's right. a strange oh Bell, my God. Bell, Bell just sort think? of stands awkwardly on the other side of the wall being like, no, I don't know why he's trying to really kneel. Do you think, when we, should we go back in and say hello? <laughs> well, literally one thing he can do I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I, MZ was going to do something. I'm sure he wouldn't have just gone round the, the corner and kneeled down. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. I mean, although he has gone round the corner and dropped his weapons. Hang on, would, would Felder have heard me shouting at this guy? You'd have heard you, heard you shout. He might not have heard the creature reply because yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's a stone wall you're hearing through. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I feel Oops. like maybe the best thing to do is just, you know, chill out. I'm just going <laughs> to hang here. Yes. Uh, we'll give it one more, a little bit of time. and um, The two hmm. members of the Danger Club that survived. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Philippe's gone back to the lust room. <laughs> just enjoying those murals. He's, he's rubbing the uh, rubbing the rune, isn't he? <laughs> rubbing, the, yeah. rubbing, rubbing the, the rune. rune. <laughs> rubbing the rune. Okay, so uh, so um, Velda does nothing. Shania. Uh, yeah, I'm also uh, going to scratch my ass for okay. a while. You scratch your ass. I mean, and hang around there. You. Oh, it's too late now, isn't it? Zola, 
you are next to so looking back you've got an open door to one side of you that goes off into another uh, another room um and then you have the skeleton and then you have Caragor and M and no, Fulton. Oh, sorry, Fulton, then Car- uh, no, Caragor's, Caragor's, on Caragor's on your side. Caragor's on your side, then the creature, then Fulton, and then M. Everyone except the creature is kneeling currently. It's like that bit of a rave when someone just says, get down, and everyone yeah, just starts yeah. kneeling down. The dance floor. <laughs> I did something pretty reckless on my last go. So. You did. You could do similar to what Fulton's doing, as in you could kneel, but with your bow and arrow drawn at him, yeah, with, yeah, the, yeah. With, the, with your attack held. Yeah, I mean, I'm a noble lady, and I don't just kneel. Ooh, oh, nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. But um, I suppose I'm between some kind of, I'm in some kind of rock, and this is quite a hard place. So <laughs> um, I'm going to kneel. Uh, Zola kneels whilst keeping her I mean, weapons drawn. Apart from Velda, you're the only one who isn't between a rock and a hard place. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're the only two who have an exit behind you. This is true. It's very true. Um, okay, so you're going to kneel. You draw your bow okay. and then kneel um, on the ground. Got a quick rules question there. In, yeah. in case Zola did take a shot, um, now that Caragor's kneeling, is there strictly combat happening where she would take a minus to her uh, ranged attack? Still cover. I think uh, she's still, she's still in cover, cover, yeah. We'll see. It depends okay. what is happening because okay. you're not actively fighting it. Mm-hmm. So um, that doesn't... Uh, so you're not technically firing into combat okay. depending on, uh, on what it does. Okie dokie. Okay. The creature uh, looks at all of you kneeling in the room. Uh, looks to each of the four of you. Um, and says, choose. Uh, M. We'll let everyone act for a little moment uh, before we jump back into rounds. Um, choose. choose. That's choose what between what? That's what it says. I, I think, think it means... Could the creature expand choose, somewhat? It means choose who's going to die. Uh, it's yeah, a wrathful it thing. He's choosing who... we got to pick who's going to be executed. This is wrath, isn't it? Yeah. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure if that choice is a choice at all, if you know what I mean. Yes, I'd hang on one cotton-picking Ca- minute here. Caragor, Caragor gently strokes the hilt of his cutlass. Zola raises her crossbow. I'm not going down for nobody. Then Caragor still his eyes out. at the floor. I'm going to shout out, You! <laughs> nice! Yes! <laughs> yes all God. right, you leap back. Uh, M, you are the first to act. Okay, you're Sorry, still on the Scott. platform, aren't you, Velda? Um, yeah. I, knowing that Velda was... <clears throat> oh, no, I didn't know that he was going to do that thing, did he? Did I? Uh, That's you, meta, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you don't know he's said anything. Okay. <clears throat> Good self You okay. have enough sh- actions to fire and pull the lever, but yeah. if you know... Can I speak? Yeah. Pull the lever and... Yeah, yeah. all right. So I'm going to shout and say, Velda, if you've got anything... Get it ready now! All right. Then I'll shoot my arrow. All then right. Then pull the lever. Make your ranged attack. All right. It's not going to hit. Pull the lever. Okay. You pull the. You pull. You fire the arrow. It tings off the creature's um, pauldron. You pull the thing and switch around with Velda. The old Caragor. Did we swap over? Did we swap over? No. No. So I'm had still on the thing. Over. Yeah, it would still be. Oh, it's still be Shania. <laughs> Oh, you didn't swap? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right. All right. That's what. Uh, That's what happens. Karagor, uh, with his eyes still at the floor, hearing the bow go off and what, Vel- uh, what M shouted, nods at the floor and says, so be it. And I stand up very quickly, swinging my uh, cutlass with my holy water yeah, on it, directly nice. in an uppercut at this guy. Go for it. Uh, now, this is where we come back. Does he go, is he flanked? Uh, he is flanked, yes. Natural 20. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> There's a hit. Roll to confirm. Oh my god, okay. <sighs> Told you, this is where we come back. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so excited, we're just Ross, knocking Ross mics just over here. Ross his pop shield. <laughs> He's that excited. First time Ow. anyone's rolled well in so long. I told okay, you cool. this is so where we come back. So that total is, oh, it's, a, it's, a plus bloody, it's a plus bloody eight now, so it's a total of 26. Confirmed critical hit. Yes! yes. Oh, yes. Right. Thank you very much. Oh, this better be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, so tense. <sighs> no, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, it's, a, it's a sapping slash, which is double damage if... Uh, uh, oh no, double damage 
and target is fatigued. I thought it said if. Ooh. Read that wrong. Double damage and target is fatigued. Dan, what does fatigued so mean? Fatigued will put him at a minus two to his rolls. Okay. Which will Not raise bad. the benefit he gets for being advanced. How does Excellent. a skeleton get fatigued? Don't question. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you question <laughs> the advantage <laughs> that we have? Oh, that you? Who signed you on? Huh? All of a sudden, Dan's like, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hang cool, on, so that's just removed two points like, oh. from the skeleton. It's removed two. It means, uh, it means he's getting a minus two to his dice rolls. And I get And you can't damage. run or charge. And double double damage. damage. Come on, here and you go. You do here double go. damage. Double Which damage. Go on. Not and I hit with the with the holy cutlass. Okay. So So you're gonna roll uh so you're gonna roll and da- uh <laughs> So you get double damage with your regular. It doesn't double the uh, damage from the holy from the holy water. That's cool. Uh you roll that separately. Uh, cool. but the holy water does pierce any damage reduction that he yes. has. Okay, so so that was the first. It's a, I'm adding plus um, <clears throat> plus five to this damage. So that's seven to start off with. Okay. Do you have plus sneak my attack yet, or do you get that? No, later? that's third okay. level, which you are you are keeping from us. You are keeping third level <laughs> hidden from us, which we definitely should have got. Um, you know, so that's. But I, I, I'm adding my study target as well, which yep. is a plus two. So that's nine damage on the first roll. Nine damage on the first roll. And that's a um, seven damage on the second roll. Uh, what's the holy damage? Uh, for holy water. Yeah. Uh, I thought you had that there. I uh, know. I, uh, I just had it. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna find it to add it on because I don't double that anyway, so it's fine. I can just add this on afterwards. <clears throat> but maybe do something else. So nine and seven total uh, was uh, at, the at the moment. Yeah. Before holy doubled. Damage. Okay. Cool. Uh, so sixteen points of damage. And eight points of damage. I mean, I, I, I don't know for certain, but I'm assuming oh, that this, this creature is susceptible to uh, holy weapons because he's a skelly bob, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Will affect him more. An extra, an extra two d six points of damage against all creatures of evil alignment. All right, go ahead. Uh, it is definitely evil. Yes. Two d six points of damage. Yes. yes. Another six. So nine, seven, and six. Some of the first says nine, seven, and ten. <clears throat> twenty-six. Okay, twenty-six yeah. points of damage. Is that right? Yeah, it's twenty-six. A mighty yeah, I think Caramore just stands up with his shoulders rippling. I fucking see you! <laughs> <laughs> and you kill the skeleton. Yes! What? I the told fuck? you. <laughs> Critical hit. <laughs> oh my god. No damage reduction against Holy. Oh my god. <laughs> I never thought that would happen. I honestly thought that this was just I would I would ne- we would never leave this place. I believed, man. I, I believed. love oh. this game. I stand over the corpse and I say, Karagor Wonfang, and I've never lost fight to man, beast, or skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Karagor. Oh well done, darling. Hey, hey, we all did something there. I got buffed from him, I got healed from him, it all happened. Oh Elijah, you can come back in the room now. I pulled the thing. <laughs> we all make Sounds room. Like we all make happening. We all make Maybe room. Maybe we should for go join in. Come in. Okay. You make some room and sort of shuffle along and uh, and uh, Shania, Velda and Philippe are uh, are able to rejoin and you. And Jin. We did it! <gasps> Oh, hurrah! Well oh, done, this everybody. is wonderful Dalton. news. I think, I, think it was, yeah. I think when you said you, that was it. That's the turning. Point. Honestly, Fulton. Yeah. I just I mean, knew that we were going to get him. I did it, but you, you did me. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? What? Uh-huh. You did me, Fulton. I did you. Aye. Aye. In fact, it was a team effort, wasn't it? It was. It was good. Everyone else moment. feeling really like tired out. Like, yeah, actually, you want to like a sleep for ten hours? I'm yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally really injured. I've, I've, oh god, yes, yeah, so all like, like shit. I look awful. Yeah, I'm, wow. I'm, okay. I'd really like to take some potion if yeah, I'm allowed. Oh, you should right. do this. Definitely do this. Yes, we do. Is there anything remarkable left on the body of the skeleton? Yeah, I was just about to say, like nice spear. Too. Is it oh, worth yeah. picking up that spear? It causes a lot of problems. Right, so you can have a look at the. Uh, you have a quick look at the items. Do you want to drink a potion, Zola? Yes, please. Okay, so you drink your uh, cure moderate wounds. That is two d eight plus five hit points. I could really use some potion or some healing. That would be great. I've got. I can give you one of mine. What do I do? Hang on, Velda, haven't you got three? Uh, uh, two d eight. Do I roll these? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's a that's f- nice. four in a six. That's ten. Ten plus, plus four. Did you say four hit points? Yeah, yeah you're back to max. Yeah, so yeah, you're, you're easy 14, at twelve. Yeah, yeah. you're easy at so 12, 12, 
So you're back to Max. Uh, you can't go over. I can't go over twelve. No, you can't go over. Yeah, perfect. Only. Thanks. We could stack you, points. You go, Fulton. Uh, uh, much uh, better. That's a that's a cure like wounds. Thank you. So it's right. one D. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, uh, looking Seven. at um, looking at the body of the skeleton, uh, you have uh, you find uh, the spear. Is a ma- the spear is a masterwork ransur. It's so mm-hmm. a martial weapon. Um, so anyone with a martial weapon proficiency can use it. Uh, is it a spear with reach? Um, and as well as that, uh, you have the armor that the uh, creature is wearing, uh, which is a suit of half plate armor. Shit. <laughs> It's Where's either going to be me or Fulton. Or, uh, well, I don't or, know, or M. Or M. Haven't you just bought some it new armor? It is heavy armor. Yeah. But so I can give you, you one of you. Armor, wear he- right. You need to be able to wear heavy armor. Uh, it's not me. That's, I, don't, I don't actually know if you can wear heavy armor, can you, M? I don't know if I can. I don't no. know if a blood <coughs> I know one can. person that could wear that armor. But you're not so wearing wearing half plates. Yeah, n- no, I'm wearing banded mail. Oh, f- mate, stick it away. Hang on. Is it magical armor? It is not magical. <laughs> I won't fit you. I won't fit you, Fulton. You're a dwarf, and he's a massive skeleton. So, so <laughs> you would have to. I think you'd have to take it to a blacksmith. And Rules then have for it adjusted. half plate. Um, half plate uh, it has to be a. It is a medium creature. A dwarf is still a medium creature. It'll be a bit of a funny fit, but it will fit. Um, and half plate, you do not have to get modified before wearing. Full plate, you have to get modified. <laughs> but half plate, I start laughing and then I, and then I watch Fulton trying it on and seeing how all the fits go. Ha, ha, ha. Looks good on you, mate. It looks good. It Thanks. looks pretty weird. but uh, yeah, it looks it a bit w- funny, actually. I don't know. So I'd ancient. have to check I, I don't know I don't know okay. in game if I can or not can you not wear his banded mail you'll say on your couch at the bottom can I wear his banded mail yes he's got a lovely suit of new banded well, mail is heavy isn't it so uh, banded go. mail I believe is heavy armour yeah so no, like, mass layers can only wear up to medium fits me fighting style do you know what I mean guys um, well done man that was mad yeah, look at that yeah ah. I'm still a bit reeling from that that I was like insane that. medium that moment, yeah. like that was the only hit that you landed on him the entire fight, and Isn't it uh, killed him. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> and so glad I took that. It needed to happen. It just needed to happen. It needed to happen then. Didn't then, it? Yeah. yeah, and it yeah. killed him exactly. Yeah. It killed him it it exactly. Exactly. Uh, like the number no of hit points yeah. he had. Amazing. Jesus. Wow. And it was his go next. Oh my yeah, god! Wow. Right. Oh. oh my god! Wow. What would have happened if we all stayed kneeling? Would he have chosen one of us to execute? Uh, he would have chosen one himself. Yeah. <gasps> Fucking hell, we're all kneeling. Would have been either me or Fulton. Spear through the <laughs> neck. <laughs> Sheesh wow. kebab. It could have been any one of us, actually. Because, yeah. What spear. Could like spear. Uh, yeah. Who's, who's going to take the spear? <clears throat> I mean, I actually, think someone should take the spear. And I will go. take it to sell it. We can like, take it to sell it. Yeah. I don't think either of us can benefit from it. I mean, Has I've got, got Marshall. Mar- I have. I can use yeah, it. So have I. Well, I mean, I can use it. Well, I could use it. You've got your grey attacks. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Look at these two fighting over who can use the longest <laughs> no, it's spear. No, you can. <laughs> <laughs> that is I what get, we're doing. Can I get you? I'm just thinking, even if we just continue to use it for this particular dungeon, because we're going to fight more corridors, aren't we? Can so I get you take it? would be quite a useful thing No, do you know what, Fulton? You're always usually up first. You take it. No, you take it. You take it. I can no, shoot over. No, you, you, oh, Jesus. One of you take the thing. <laughs> With shit to do. I, I flinch away from Zola and go, oh, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Sorry. Off. Should, so we, so should just, we shuffle through this corridor and yeah, get to the, yeah. the so next as, where Zola yeah, is? Everybody the healed, is? Is everybody healed to their maximum? Because yeah, yeah. I am nope. not. Um, nope. I'm still 13. All right, I'm going to take one more of my potion of How light many, wounds. How many is your yeah. maximum? 24. So as, reach wep- as a reach weapon, it means you can attack through a square. So it means if you were in the second rank uh, behind Fulton, say, mm. you could then keep attacking with it behind it and you wouldn't have any penalties for firing into combat. Combat like you would with your bow. Uh, so it lets you make. But it is a very nice weapon to have if you're in cl- confined quarters like this. Okay, in which case I'll definitely take it. Dan. Yes. It was a half plate. Yeah. It was half plate. Cool. Yes. Uh, Do, does would anyone else fancy a bit of a, a rest? I could use to commune for maybe eight to ten hours. If anyone fancies having a little sit down in the corridor, I mean, we, we could just rest here, couldn't we? But I mean, Zola, you, you I, keep saying I, you're on a time limit. I, I really need to press on. 
Um, but I absolutely understand that we've just been through the real ringer there. Well, the, I mean, the only problem is that, uh, you know, I've used all of my healing spells now. So I have none left until I commune again. So. Bearing in mind, if uh. we stop for eight hours, we don't have to stop. Like, we can just yeah, go, yeah. oh, it's eight hours later. Do you know no, what I know. Mean? I know. Yeah. I'm just, what I'm saying is, is, is Zola's objective. I was doing that out of character, by the way. I can, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I don't know why I was doing it in character, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if Zola's objective is going to get any, obviously we don't Look, know. if it gives us a, a better chance, I'm absolutely happy to stay. I don't want to have to go up again. Up again. Up against one of those again. I mean, that was me malfunctioning, by the way, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that was actually ancient Verissian for. Uh, has anyone got? Uh, should, we, yeah. should we do a Should we do a rest? And then, do you want to um, use uh, Spears Morgan's uh, bones as like some kind of spit to cook our meals on? No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. It's a bit of a rank idea. I mean, actually. Let, let, let's hold yeah. this. This fellow's probably been I mean, I'm just going to churn a few rations and then, you know, go into a trance. So, but we've know. got to keep watch because we might be sprung upon by something that wanders okay. up. Okay. We can close these doors. Close both the yeah. doors. We can. We're going to sleep in the corridor over yeah. Spears Morgan's body. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Do it. Fair exactly. enough. Right. Over the spoils, the winnings. Yeah. But we can winning. only sleep in a. We can only sleep in single file. <laughs> <laughs> like a little row of cool. This is the like, coolest like a danger club sleepover. It's not really cute. Really <laughs> <laughs> or the human centipede. Sorry, that's Thank an in joke in from a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, there are actually plenty of places to sleep in here because if because uh, there are alcoves in all of the walls uh, full yeah, of cool bones. Shit. Like if you kind of dragged some of the bones out, you could sleep on the funeral slabs. Oh, this sounds perfect. I love funeral slabs. <laughs> Let's do it. So it's comfy. Shania, when does this spell wear off? But uh, the, the, the spell, uh, oh, so oh yes, I know. So the like two hours, the one that isn't makes it? You, yeah, it's something like oh, this. Yeah. Have you got any shelves that need putting up? Or <laughs> <laughs> do you need your radiator Lift fixed? me, lift me. Yeah, I can, can I go and lift them? <laughs> you go and lift them. Oh, yeah. it's so strong. <laughs> <laughs> Toss them up a little bit. <laughs> like a young boy again. Actually, <laughs> Shut up, James. I know exactly what you're going to say. What? I didn't say I anything. I said, toss him up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, up. And you heard that as well. Quickly. You wanted me to say the other word. That's not me. That's you. So, I did not. Oh, you, uh, so you, pull, uh, you pull the lever again uh, in the other wall and the, uh, the door slides closed again, sealing you in this tomb, which you're pretty sure from the amount of dust and things hasn't been opened except by you in uh, hundreds and hundreds of years so you feel relatively confident that nothing will come by here uh, and you're able to uh, sort of um, make yourself I don't want to say comfortable because you're sleeping on <laughs> funeral slabs in the crypt of wrath uh, next to the bones of something that nearly killed you all but you do manage to kind of find space um, to rest uh, and you set some watches uh, and you're able to spend you don't know if it's the night or not because you are underground, but you're able to spend uh, several hours getting a good night's sleep uh, and re-preparing all of your spells and uh, recouping. So if any of you are still injured, you get your constitution modifier uh, back in hit points um, if it's positive. Um, otherwise, uh, you spend the night, you rest, you restore your spells and you reflect on the battle that you've just fought that nearly killed you all. Uh, and when you awake... The next morning, you're all level three. Yeah! Yeah! Wow. We're going to be back in just a second, folks. We need to level some characters up. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Should we do a, oh, we do a pause yeah. and then we'll jump straight back in? Level up tougher. achieved. Bing. Level up Ooh. achieved, everyone. Uh, we have a level three party of adventurers down here. God, that would have been handy in that last fight, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would have been amazing. <laughs> You've all learned a valuable life lesson. Level up earlier. But uh, yeah, maybe, maybe rest a little bit, uh, rest more. Um, uh, yeah. But it is maybe a comfort to know that you can, because of the nature of this uh, this dungeon, there are places you can seal yourselves in. And you haven't been given a time frame by um, the Church of Phrasma to complete your mission. So it is, in true dungeon crawl style, you are able to have a sleep um, down in the caves. Remember that some of you will have had to eat rations. Not Fulton. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> holy poly Fulton. Uh, although all of you have to suffer the effects of being trapped in a tiny room with a dwarf with severe indigestion for, uh, <laughs> for eight hours. It's, uh, it's not the most pleasant of evenings. Uh, and with that, you're able to reopen um, the, uh, the exit from the room uh, and have a little look. Um, who would like to be the first brave soul to pe venture out of the uh, of the crypt? MZ. 
Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, down to the other way, right? Where? Yeah, this is the way that Zola discovered during the fight. Yeah. Okay. So all right. torch burning. I'm just going to open light, that door again. Light the torch up, and you uh, stride out through there. So there's a narrow corridor ahead, and what you come to is a uh, you come to the back of a large statue. Um, so it's a statue standing uh, with its back to you. Um, it's hard to tell exactly what the statue is of from here. Uh, beyond the statue, you can see the um, you can see the room opens up into a, what looks like a very large chamber on the other side of this statue. So you reckon yeah. this statue is kind of built into an alcove of a very big room, um, and that you've kind of you've come out behind it. Um, yeah. So, uh, what would you like to do? Uh, you, can, you reckon you can either... The statue looks like it would move. Yeah. Um, or there is probably just about enough space to squeeze around it if you, are, uh, if you were very careful. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll make a little perception around there and, and sort of have a look around it if I can, if I'm very okay, careful. Okay, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Be very careful. I'm behind them with my spear out. Uh, that's uh, 20... 26 okay um you've managed to work out from you managed to work out kind of from where you are from the back but the statue is a the statue of, is, is of a woman with wild hair uh holding a ransour so the same weapon that the uh, skeleton oh, in there yeah. had um although you're not sure quite what that means peering around it um you can see that there is uh something there's like a ledge uh, in front of you, um, which then drops away to some steps. Uh, the ledge seems to run around a big room, and you can just about make out a bridge crossing this room somewhere um, ahead. But it is really too dark for you to be able to see everything from uh, where you are. Okay, I relay this back to the okay. rest of the team. Am um, yeah. Do a little swap with Adamir Fulton because we've got slightly better vision than you. Do it. Be really careful, yeah. Do you want to? There's a ledge through there and some steps, but I can't see down. Do you want to go, Fulton? Or shall I? Uh, you go, you go, you go. I mean, I'm still pretty beat up. You're just not asleep, mate. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, fine. <laughs> Carrigal, hang on, hang on, hang on. Carrigal persuades extra hit points into Fulton. <laughs> <laughs> Carrigal, maybe you're, maybe you're better just because, you know, Fulton can be a bit clumsy sometimes. What? I'm just saying, you know, we're, we're good friends, it's fine. Aye. Fulton, that is not, you are a, a useful, Carrigal stepping past Fulton, useful and nimble and dexterous fella, Carrigal goes forward. Uh, as Carrigal... <laughs> comes forward oh, I'm gonna uh, get in front off of the me edge, aren't I? as he don't uh, <laughs> I sort of wobble around like ooh, 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 ooh. okay so how are you getting past the statue how far is it into the room sorry uh, the statue it's in the so if you imagine you're basically in an alcove the statue is built into an alcove of the room yeah. you are in that alcove you've okay. come out so it's kind of blocking the way into the room you have to either kind of press yourself against the wall and kind of squeeze around it or by the looks of it with a bit of strength you could push it out of the way I'm, I'm going to... I, uh, guys, look, I've, I've got myself into, out, in and out of some tight spots before, so I'm going to squeeze around this okay. statue and see... Just before you do, how, that, just before you do that, Zola, uh, Velda, you've been quite canny on these statues and stuff so far. Mm. Can you tell yes. us anything about this lady with the spear? Ransur, sorry. Well, Knowledge, history. Yeah. Knowledge, history. Well... Ooh, yeah, I probably could, actually. Um, that's 26. 26. Uh, yes, that is... Um, this that is, is she is Alasnist, the Rune Lord of Wrath. Um, it's carved from white marble. So she was the um, in the age of the Thalassian Empire towards the end of it. They were ru ruled by seven rulers called Rune Lords, each of which had a virtue or a domain that they rule over. She was the Rune Lord of Wrath. So this would have been her uh, her followers' crypt. Um, by the looks of it and peering out now from where you are Velda if you've swapped round you can see there are other statues around the room which seem to depict uh, you would guess the other rune lords mm. I relate this back can I see anything other than, so, than MZ could because I've, I've got Scott peering out Dark vision. this room is uh, this room is huge so a huge vaulted ceiling rises up to about 60 feet um, across the centre of the room running from north to south uh, about 40 feet overhead is a wide stone bridge with elaborately carved railings uh, around it. Uh, there is a bronze door at either end of this bridge. Um, on the level you are, you're about 40 feet down from this bridge where there is a sort of a, a, a rim about 20 feet across that runs around the room. And in the centre of that, 
um, staircases descend down to the bottom of the room where there is a large seal, um, large symbol of Phrasma um, carved into the stone at the centre of it. Around All around the room there are eight alcoves, a total of eight alcoves, each with a statue in it, seven of them made of white marble and one of a figure made of black marble. And you are coming out from behind one of the white marble ones. Do I know who the black marble figure is? Uh, you'd need to get closer to it right, to examine okay, it. Right, fair enough. I relay all of this to the group. It's a big room. I tell you what, a, a, a Elder's curiosity gets better. I mean, he just squeezes round the... Okay, round the acrobatics statue, check it. to try and squeeze past it. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Velda, I think that's what Zolo was going to do. What? Probably best. Hmm. Uh, 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 that... 16. A 16, you managed to kind of creep around the statue uh, and out onto the lip, of, onto the edge of the room. Come on, Jim. Um, you're able to uh, you're, make it into the large room. It's quite nice to be able to sort of feel like, like you finally like stretch both of your arms out sideways and things without yeah. touching other walls. So uh, it's I, quite nice. I whisper back, it seems to be safe. I'll sit that. I'll go forward to where Velder is and have a look around as immediate area for traps. Okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, well, I'll do your traps check. Yeah. Uh, you see no evidence of traps. All right, come on, guys. All right, so Zola was next up. Uh, yes. If you want to try and squeeze by, I'm squeeze behind. Go the ahead, statues. make an acrobatics check to squeeze through. Um, yeah. yeah. Twenty-three. Yeah, easy, easy. You uh, you slip uh, around the corner of the statue and join Velda on the ledge. Who's next? I'll go. All right. Squeezing past or pushing through? <laughs> Push. Push. All right. So um, that is a strength check to try and move it. Yeah. Um, 11. 11, you grab a hold of the statue and just push it out of the way across the thing. Um, and as it does, uh, as it does, the statue glows for a moment uh, and then hits you with a burst uh, of electricity. Uh, make a reflex save. <laughs> oh, it's a good roll. Uh, 17. 17, successful save, so you get half well damage. Uh, which is good, because I rolled... Five and a six, uh, so uh, that's grown down to a five. So you take five points of damage um, as uh, literally as you put that, the thing just crackles with electricity, and Fulton gets shocked, and staggers back from it. The statue is now out of the way, so everyone else can just walk past it. Uh, how Fulton's beard is kind of sticking out. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Honestly. I don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it is not your uh, day, is it, Dwarf? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just woken up in two minutes. <laughs> uh, it's possibly troubling to you, Carago. You checked that thoroughly and you didn't see any yeah. sign of it, uh, which you guess magical traps are very hard to locate. Beyond me. Could I do a detect magic yeah. around the room? See if there's any magical traps in the um, statue. Yeah, the, yeah, room is, the room is too big to do detect One magic job. on the entire room. Can I focus it at the statues? Yes, yeah, so you go up to you go up to the next um, white marble statue and do a detect magic on it. It is magical. It has a uh, an evocation aura around it. Mm. Right, don't touch the statues. <laughs> I knew, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Yes. Just, just, just leave them alone. We'll barely know. We, we learn that through, you know. I know. God. Just want to make sure. The um, the only one that doesn't is the black uh, statue, which has a transmutation aura around it. Ooh, right. Okay, so the black statue. I'll go back to the group. Okay. Well, I don't want to get too close to the black one. Okay. So of you reckon? You no. Um, no. <laughs> no. 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 I do it from a range. So you're fairly confident, having looked at the other, gone round and had a good close look at the um, at all of the other white statues. All of them have alcoves on them identical to the one you've come through. Um, you reckon um, you can make a perception check to know a little bit more about them. Otherwise, I'll just tell you the basic stuff you know from your history check. You don't have to touch them to make the perception check. Uh, I should make a perception check. I rolled terribly with these, so... Oh, 14. 14, okay. You don't get anything extra from that. Uh, but you identify um, the uh, you identify seven um, of the statues, including the one you're at, of the se as the seven rune lords. 
um, dotted around the room, covering the different uh, covering the different virtues, um, and you find the um, um, and you see the final one, um, the final one, the dark statue, um, Shania. You are able to identify immediately as a statue of Phrasma. It has three faces. It has um, one face facing to a side with a kindly expression, and in its arms it holds a baby. Uh, on the other side, one with a stern in- expression holding an hourglass, and at the front, um, one with a wide-eyed expression with its hands held out uh, with thornless roses curling around the hands, uh, which you recognise as the three faces of Phrasma. Yes, it's three faces of Phrasma. Well, this, this statue's got a faint element of transmutation magic. I reckon um, which could, could change uh, change its elements, so it might. I'm worried it might come alive. Aye, this is very possible. Sometimes even I have thought that I would have these powers, but not yet. Anyway, yes, uh, it's very possible. Yes, we need, to, I, we need to tread very yeah. carefully. Those three faces is that the face of death, the face of birth, and the face of madness. Yeah. Shana, you know so much. I know, I'm extremely wise. It's incredible so how wise. much of this that I know. So <laughs> impressive. I know, it's very good. But uh, yes, I'm glad that I'm here to help you all every day. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to get onto that bridge. I think we do. Aye. Aye. Um, just on that point. We need a middle eight. Is there, there, there's two, <laughs> nice. there's two bronze doors <laughs> on either end of the bridge going across the room, aren't there? 40 yes. feet up. But there are no exits within this room. Uh, there are two bronze doors up on the uh, on the bridge, on the bridge, but none down here. Um, you need to explore. If you go um, as you go down, uh, have a look down the stairs to where the um, the seal of Phrasma is. Uh, you see that there are doors in the east and west built into those staircases down there. <laughs> oh right, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, there's two doors down here. Two doors again. So you've got two doors, two down, doors, the, again, two doors huh? down the bottom going east and west and two doors up above you on that bridge going north and south. Uh, I, I don't fancy the climb up there, to be honest. Um, Me neither. Are there any... From, I didn't roll very high on my perception check. Well, but uh, did I have any? something that might help. I, I have a communal spider climb now. A it's communal just spider climb? I can give everyone spider climb. We can all do a spider climb up there very easy. Yeah. You want to give it a go? Sound like fun for everyone, yeah? <laughs> Come on, let's all be spiders together. <laughs> <laughs> so peer pressure, right? Like Shania at school. <laughs> Shania. Come on, let's do this thing in the back with the smoking cigarettes. Yeah, okay, we do it. It's fun for everyone. You remind uh, me of a holiday rep when I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> on holiday. Uh, Shania. It was fun, right? I'm in. Let's do it. Okay. Amen. Wait, wait. Uh, I mean, I always... Not that I'm one to turn down a high octane adventure, but is there just not an easier path? Come on, man. Yeah, come on. Oh, we, come on. We climb like spiders. What's the worst that can happen? Oh, right. Wait, come wait, on, wait, then. Wait, 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 wait. What if we get up there? We can't open those doors and spider Boo. climb. Where's all? Boo. Boo. Well, I'm just saying. Boo. I, you know, I'm, Boo. I'm Boo. Boo. Spider. No, You've got Featherfall anyway. What are you worried about? Yeah, true, exactly. but I don't, you haven't. I'm thinking of you. Uh, I'll just grab a hold of you. I stopped thinking of you now. <laughs> so, uh... Up yours. Elder <laughs> darling, in life so you need to reach for the stars and take the path of least resistance. <laughs> Come oh, spider climb with us. So good. Yes. Right. Yes. Listen to Zola. Yes. She knows what she's hey, talking just, about. Just for right. FYI, Rachel has persuaded us all several times in the course <laughs> yeah, right. of her stay with us and not rolled persuasion once. Like, <laughs> that's just who she is. Like, through role play, she's persuading us to do what she wants us to do. Yes. <laughs> I'll play the game. <laughs> no, 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 you're succeeding too well in playing the game. <laughs> okay, so everyone spider climb, yeah? Okay, so, so I go around and I touch everyone with my communal spider climb. Um, All right. Spider climb. Spider climb. Does the thing, sir? Called spider, spider climb. Spider climb does. It's a spell. It makes okay, you climb. So there we go. Because no, um, as we know, the spell functions like spider, spider climb. climb. So we divide the duration in ten-minute intervals out. among the creatures. Okay. <coughs> Here comes as we know, nothing climb. bad ever came from someone getting spider powers randomly. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this, okay, so this, everyone has spider climb so for five minutes. Okay. This, here we go. Five minutes. Here we go. So now so spider climb just allows us to climb like a spider. It's yeah. not like a bonus to climbing, is nope. it? It's just all of your climb. like horrible, like slightly grivelly hairs sprout from all of your fingers <laughs> um, and you're able to kind of grip onto walls nice mm. um, let's go this is weird hey oh, no, I love this this is fun right yeah Spain. love yes. this Time terribly ungainly you clamber all <laughs> up the wall easily making it up onto the bridge 
um, giving you the options of north or south. Oh. Fulton Spiderstone. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> Fulton's got weird mandibles. And- <laughs> M Spider Z. Ah, I like that. Yeah. Can I ask, are the doors identical? <laughs> the doors are identical. They're made of bronze. Um, they have no handles, and they have a symbol of Phrasma uh, on them. I check each one for traps. Okay. Felder, can you scan each one for magic as well? Yes, yes, of course. Yeah. I detect magic at both the doors. Okay. Uh, you find no evidence of traps. They are both magical. They're magical. Uh, they detect very similar to the um, to the um, phrasmic seals that you met um, in the very first room. Oh, you yeah. suspect you need the chime to open them. Oh, Shit. good God. How many chimes How many chimes? Two, got, three. Let's, let's go to eight? Chime Watch UK that I have here on my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have three left. Three uh, chimes. Three left. Yeah. I told you. Three and then, well, I keep well, thinking well, so because we need one to get out. we can use, but we need one to get out. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So two effectively right now. What do we do? Well, we've got to pick one and then stick to it. Whichever oh, one's that's right. Right. Yeah. Could, Hang on, wait a minute. Or we could looks around for a really arsely written note about fucking hearts <laughs> and <laughs> fucking, you know, paths and uh, well, maybe one's wrong. Or I mean, or, or we there could is no climb note. down and, and go through one of the doors at the bottom. No, but somebody face it's a fucking spider climb. Fuck oh, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste my shit. Spider. You want to waste my shit, talk to someone else, okay? Spider Velda. <laughs> All right. Spelder. Can't go backwards. Wait, that's just exactly. <laughs> Vida. So it's not going backwards. Yeah. That's right, oh, sister. Right. Well, let's pick it all then. Okay, we do it at random. Wait, hang on. Uh, well, let's look at the map. Which way would it make sense to go if we were going into the ossuary? Well, I'm not sure I've got the, pers- <sighs> the perspectives right on this map. But um, <laughs> it really, it's really, we're not very far in. So wait, but the one is, one is north, one is south, so right? We're not, we're not very far in. So are we here and then north and south is that way? Is that right? I don't know. You, you stopped guys, counting, what? didn't you? Did you come in on the north side or the south side of the... I don't know. Oh, you, good. You entered from the south. We gave we them... entered from the south. So. We gave you one job. So, we, so we'd want Let's to go north, wouldn't we, if- we're going well, if this is right, <laughs> just out of character sure as well, just for the listeners. Like, to be fair, what Velda's doing right now is perfect because up till now, James has actually done actually quite a good map. Like, it's if we were good. following it, it's just that the last room he happens to have drawn, he's like he's just sort of had a fit and stopped drawing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just drawn a random. It's, just, it's just a huge, huge thing. Uh, and I think I was right, but then a couple of times Dan said, "Right, you can either go this direction or this direction." It's like oh, I don't. That's <laughs> not what I. Re- that's not what I drew. <laughs> so I think. So, well, I think if we came, who's got the, south, the I think chime? We want to go south if we're going to who's further got the in. Chime. Okay, so then let's go south. I say go south. Who wants to go south? I want south. to go south. Me, I, I do. To I the do. south. Do oh, right then. south. <laughs> that's the way I'm going. Okay, do let's go south. Ting, south. ting the chime. I'll probably put s- an effect in there. So oh, yeah. you ting the chime. Ting. The <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the time I used was sick. It was. Uh, it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You ting the chime on ting. the southern door. <laughs> yeah, we do. Um, there on the, um, uh, there is a, now ahead of you a long corridor um, lined on either side by slabs with bodies lying on them. Um, there are um, you can see at the very end of the corridor there is a um, uh, there is a door with another seal on it um, as you start to um, as you start to to step forwards there is a stirring from one of the slabs uh, and a bo- one of the bodies shambles off slides off the slab and starts staggering towards you you recognize the telltale pipes um, and um, concoctions running through it that identify it as one of the alchemical zombies uh, and Zola you recognize it as your brother. <gasps> oh. Ama! Ama Dubois. With slightly overextended belly. He's a uh, he's a boy well he's a boy man in his young uh, youngish twenties, but he has a sort of a double chin, um, and sort of droopy eyes uh, and a little bit of a paunch. Uh, he comes staggering towards <clears throat> all of you. Um, on his hand you can see he's wearing a large ring. Um, he makes his way down the corridor. We're going to roll for initiative. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Mm. Oh, like, what the f- what the hell, oh. man? Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Oh, shit. Wow. For anybody still surprised by this, Ross just rolled a natural one, so... 
if anyone's still shocked at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyone get over 20? Uh, yeah, I believe I did. All right. Uh, yes, I got 21. Okay, Velda, 20 to 15. I got 20. Okay. 20 for Shinoya. Uh, 15 to 10. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. All right then. Uh, ten to five. Five. Six for me. I, I got six. But uh, I got six. But Zola can go first. Okay. You're welcome. Speaking What'd you get, Kara? Four. Four. Oh, no. Four. I'm feeling the the come down from the lack of bull strength. I'm just all dizzy, <laughs> <laughs> like roids. <laughs> all right, Velda, you're the first. Uh, you're the first to react to this. You're all sort of still standing in the doorway. It is. Um, it is about forty feet from you currently. It'll take you two. It'll take it two rounds. Right. Remember these things before. It can't attack you if it's moved. So keep moving, everyone. And I sort of pad. To, well, I sort of stay where I am and I shoot a ray of frost. Yeah, just keep right, it. Make range. your attack. Yeah. Oh, and actually, no. Can I shoot my crossbow? Yep. Shoot in my crossbow. Here it goes. And bearing in mind, are we all in a corridor? Nope. How how wide is uh, it? The corridor is wide enough for two to stand either side. Yeah. Although at the moment where you are, you're standing in the entrance to it, so you've got lots of space. But if you were to get move up and engage it, at the moment it's coming to you. So potentially, if it walked out into the big room, you could all get near it. But if you go into attack it, you're going to be two by two. So sorry, he can't attack us. At the moment, he's forty. He's forty feet away from you, so he's got uh, some distance to cover before he can get close to you. I mean, we and we could spider climb slowly. and go back down, and then that so means just wait for him to lemming off. <laughs> Eight. Yeah. Eight miss. You fire a crossbow, but uh, don't manage to hit it. Shania. Uh, I will also shoot it with my crossbow. All right, make your attack roll. Okay. It's a natural one. Natural one, roll to confirm. Yes. It's a natural 20. Okay, it's just, it's just <laughs> I've only had been the other guy around. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Both yeah. Shania and Velda just kind of um, cop around the uh, cop cop around the side and then just fire their crossbows wild. Uh, it's the opposite totally of cop cops. That was fucked up. They're like gangsters <laughs> just holding the crossbow blind around the corner and just firing it um, sideways on. Um, it is his go. Um, he moves 30 feet um, towards you, gets within 10 feet, but that is all he can do in his round as he approaches. So uh, it, is now Zo- uh, it is now Zola's go. He is within 10 feet of you, uh, walking forwards, stretching his brother, chubby man. hand Your out brother. for you. Brother. Amy, you fucker! Just to fill you all in, this guy's a fucker! <laughs> um, I spent my entire life in his shadow, and all I need is the signet ring off his hand to claim my fortune after my father disowned me at his funeral. I um. What? Well, oh, she, sorry. She's very nervous. <laughs> she's got indigestion. Oh, wow. <laughs> the terrible mozzarella sandwich she had last night before they slept. <laughs> <laughs> um, Damn you, brother! God, just the sight of it makes me nauseous. Um, so. I mean, you can, I just need to attack him, don't I? Yeah, you can step up. Um, he's not in combat with us, so you can't flank him and get your uh, sneak attack, but you can run. You can attack him face to face. You could also move backwards, keep him within your short bow range, take a short bow attack at him, and he wouldn't be able to attack you on his next go. Let's do that. All right. Sorry to no, play that's there. fine. Just giving you options. No, play, please do because I don't know. Right. Um, unless you wanted a face to face with your bro, steal against Zomb. I mean, up to you. Face to face is likely to wrap it up quicker. Face to face, <laughs> it is. Rapier and dagger drawn. I approach my brother. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's a twelve plus. That's going to be a hit with the first one, and roll for your second attack. Oh. Uh, that's five. Uh, plus six, seven won't do it. So your first, so your rapier is a hit. Roll to uh, roll for your damage with your rapier. So. 1d6 and you can add oh it's this one uh, it's a shame uh, that was a natural 20 one of those, one of those <laughs> natural 20 <laughs> <laughs> 2 plus 5 uh, plus 2, two I think two, po- yeah. 2 plus 2 so four. 4 points four. of damage ok you run up and slice at your brother um, slicing straight through uh, the hand and dropping the hand to the floor uh, with the ring upon its finger <gasps> nice, um, nice. Yeah. All right, it is still up. He is still just about up, though. Zola, uh, Zola that's your go. Uh, Fulton. 
Um, oh, I could just leave this, but I'm not. I'm gonna go and help her. Uh, I'm gonna run at him and attack him. Yeah. Uh, go on, uh, mm. Not bad. Uh, it is a 16. 16 hits. Roll okay. your damage. Fulton finally is back in the game. That's a pretty good hit. Really? Oh, my My fingerprint's not working on my tablet. Oh, no. Too sweaty. That counts as a botch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fumble. Uh, Take a fumble. 14. A 14. Okay, so, um, Zola, you slice the hand from your brother's, uh, from the brother's wrist. He kind of breaks it up, looks at it, and then reaches for you with his other hand. And then the dwarf that you've just met comes in from the side and just buries his axe into the side of him, smashing him into the wall uh, and throwing him down. Uh, and you look down on the, uh, you look down on the dead body of your brother. Um, its hand lies there with the signet ring upon its finger. I pick up the hand and burst into tears. I thank you all so much for the help that you've given me. I have to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Hang on, where? Wait, wait, what do you mean? Wait, I have to go. I feel like we just really cheated. Sort of peak in our relationship. And the, where's the fuck? What? I'm so sorry. I, it's, I'm, as I said, I want a complete time limit, both literally and in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I, if I can ever repay any of you one day for the help you've shown me. Um, but toodle pip, um, be good. Bye. Zola, you slip on the signet ring, which uh, will uh, which identifies you as a member of your family and will allow you to reclaim your birthright should you make it back to Kermarga. And with a nod to everyone, you turn and vanish back <laughs> into the darkness. <laughs> everyone standing around um, looking at the chime with two uses left and the large amount of dungeon still to sp- uh, explore because you were a long way from completing your mission, everyone. And as I, f- as I go into the distance of the corridor, I just they just say... It's me, Asana. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Henley, thank you for joining us. Thank that you is where so we leave it for tonight. For me, Good night, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Bye. Oh, wow. Mission accomplished. Nice. Guys, that was one of the funnest days of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank Sweet. you so, so much. Nice one. So many awesome Dangerlings to thank this week. Here are just a few of them. Thank you, John Oakes, for the beautiful iTunes review. Please keep those coming in, guys. They really, really help the show. Thank you to Candice for the great topics you've been running on our Discord. If you're not on our Discord, what are you doing? There's some really good stuff that the Dangerlings are running on there. Uh, And thank you for all the love that people have been showing for what Rachel's doing at the moment on the show. Trust me, we have heard you on that. All right, that's it from us. See you next week. Stay dangerous. Hi everyone, this is Hanno. And this is Stephanie. And we're from the Gotham Knights Podcast and... The Orville Lights Podcast. The Gotham Lights Podcast is a fan cast dedicated to the television show Gotham. And sometimes the television show The Orville. And if either of these things tickle your fancy, then by all means, reach out to us on Twitter, at Gotham Lights, on Facebook by searching Gotham Lights, and also by means of email, gothamlightspodcast at gmail.com.